What is up, everybody? It's November 8th, 2020 in the Big Bear Lake area. It's 1.40 in, in the p.m. It's 1.40 in the p.m. Dude, I finally got some sleep, and I got a lot of it. <laughs> I got a lot of it. After I did that long drive last night up and down the whole mountain range for you guys, so you can uh, see what it's like for the ones who are especially scared to drive up and down during snowstorms. It wasn't bad, but I was so out of it right when I got back. Like, I... I'm really glad I made it back, to the truth. But you guys, uh, you guys mean a lot, so it's worth it. Yeah, hang on a sec. While this is going slowly, I'm gonna try and reach for that. For this right here? Yeah. I'm gonna be too low. <coughs> Let's see here. Yeah, oh, I almost had it. Oh, almost had it. There we go, I got it. Sweet. That's what was making it. So it was hard to the windshield. All right, we're out of here. We're just gonna do a little drive around town. We're gonna take the back streets all the way to the village and then back around. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the village from Moon Ridge Road from back here. And then some of my local people some of them, for some reason, they get really upset when I just try to show you guys an easier, softer way to get through town so you can enjoy yourselves and come back up here. They don't seem to realize that without you guys, they can't live here. It's amazing how uh, some of them act and some of them treat you. I won't be like that, guys. I want you guys to get the fastest routes. The, 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 I don't care if it's the most localized route, if it's like an underground tunnel and stuff. I don't care. I want you guys to have a great time and to keep on coming back up here. Because as I said, during the orientation at Bear, when I worked there, less than 15% of people ever return to go uh, back to Big Bear. And there were numerous reasons. It was just, just one thing after the other. But yeah, anyway, we're on Evergreen right now. They got some pretty magnificent houses right here. This is right, right behind my house. They got some huge houses. I mean, huge houses. Look at the size of that thing. And then, like, these guys, like, I, you know, these are all giant houses. And I live right here. Like, my house is right there on the other side of these trees right here. And these are all just mansions right here. I love it. But, yeah, this isn't the aftermath video, guys. This is a continuation because we're starting to get more snow. And we got a, a couple more inches overnight because I, I turned off my light, uh, my outside Christmas lights, and I forgot that my heated pads for my driveway or my walkway, they only are on when my lights are on. I totally forgot I have it plugged into that outlet. So when I walked out, I didn't have a walking path because it was covered with snow. But in a few hours, it'll be totally melted in that one area again. But yeah, this is one of my favorite places right here in all of Big Bear. So beautiful. Okay. Let's get the windshield wiper in the rear there. Let's see, can you guys see back there? Turn on the windshield wiper. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye, snow. All right, cool. So, yeah, we are getting a little bit of snow. As we take the back route, we're going to drive through uh, Snow Summit so we can be as, as uh, close to the mountain as possible which will be the most snow that we'll get. I don't know if that made any sense. Basically, I'm trying to take us to the point where uh, we're going to see the most amount of snow on this drive. So it, it, it's either like the Big Bear Dam area or that part of Boulder Bay that's going to get dumped on. And then also when you come up here to like Bear, to Snow Summit to the left here or come back around and go all the way out that way to bear you keep on climbing elevation so once you get to the base of the mountain like where you pay for your tickets and go skiing and stuff you get significantly more snow at that elevation right there and it's right at the mountain too so you're dealing with a lot of the snow falling from the orographic lift from the other side it's just dumping right right down there oh look at that that's a cool cool looking place Summit Fun Zone Vacation Rental. 
You know what? I have a feeling these people are probably from Newport Beach, maybe. Or at least lived there for a while because we have a place called the Fun Zone in Newport. It's on the Balboa Peninsula. As a kid, I used to go there almost every day. And then when I started smoking the green stuff, I was like 13, 12 and a half or 13. And we would always hang out over there. And then after we're done like playing around with the video games, we'd go hide in the, in, in the little bathroom outside and smoke. And then we'd go back in, play video games, and then go smoke cigarettes and stuff. Was, man, I miss those days. I miss being a little punk. I feel like I got a big old shit on my nose, but I don't, which is just my nose sucks. Alright, so we're just gonna go a little bit further up here. Oh, what's up, Mama? Yeah, you're parked in the Brownie Lot Lane. No, we're not. This isn't the Brownie Lot Lane. Alright, so this is Snow Summit, or Snow, yeah, Snow Summit, you guys. And as I said, this drive, it's not gonna be the longest one, but we're gonna go through town the back way. And look at this guy doing freaking donuts, huh? I think we need to try that out too. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to hit it. Here we go. Ah, these tires suck. They're too good. Look at this guy being pulled behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I gotta get a, a better picture of that. That's awesome. Ah, uh, he bailed. Oh. All right. Well, then we're gonna try and get loose. So we are going to go left, but I don't think it's left here, or is it? No, we're not turning left on Comstock. We're going to turn left on Brownie. On Brownie. And I think this is, no, Brownie's the next one. I think this is Brownie. No, that's, that's, we put me, yeah, we put me, yeah. Then we'll just get some more snow, right? And we'll get snow falling in the cap. Look, I'm like slamming the brakes. I'm not even sliding, dude. It took me like a ton. Come on, man. Alright. So, we're on Brownie Lane, you guys. So, Brownie Lane, when you're on Moon Ridge Road, when you turn on Moon Ridge from Big Bear Boulevard, it's going to be your first street. Brownie Lane basically goes along the Brownie parking lot. It's known as the Brownie parking lot. That's what I was pointing out, that sign in the Snow Summit parking lot. It's the Brownie parking lot. So, we're on that street right now, and you just stay on this until it dead ends. And it dead ends into Wren, I believe. W-R-E-N. Just like this, then you're going to make a left, because Big Bear Boulevard is to the right. So when we have snow and a lot of people in town, traffic's going to be almost bumper to bumper out there. Kind of like you see them going really slow right now. Look, see? I mean, they're actually going at a decent rate right now, but typically, with this kind of weather, we're typically a little bit smooth. And we're getting some sleet. It's 28 degrees. It's a sleet snow mix. Turn right on McWhitney Lane. So, from Moon Ridge Road, when you're, it's like uh, Brownie Lane is basically like just north of Walgreens on the north side. You take that all the way till it dead ends, and then you make a left on Wren. And then your first right is called McWhitney Lane. You turn right on McWhitney and you go through here. And it comes to kind of a dead end that turns on Eureka. 
and then your next street is going to be Pennsylvania. You're going to turn right and stay on Pennsylvania all the way until you get to the village. Just gorgeous, guys. I hope this is a testament of what our storms are going to be like this season. So we're on turning up. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This is Oak. I lied. This is Oak. we got to make another left and then a right to get to Pennsylvania. So you stay on Brownie Lane, make a left on Wren, make a right on McWhitney Lane, and then make a little left on the yield at Eureka, which is a dead end. And then you'll turn right on Oak, which is what we're on right now. And then we're going to turn left on Jeffries, and then a right on Pennsylvania, and then we're there all the way. Ah, uh, what's up, guys? How you guys doing today? It's good to see you guys. Thank you for all the beautiful comments, you guys. And I apologize because it seems like I I only get notifications when my comments are, are are the first one. But then if like someone responds for some reason, I don't get any com I, I don't get any any notifications. So I'm really sorry. I do go back and look. I just I I'm, I'm going through so much right now, you guys, and I have so much stuff going on. So please, please forgive me. I would never not respond to you guys intentionally. I love you guys so much. And I have so much respect for you guys. So please never think that I would do that intentionally, ever. I always want to respond to you guys and always want to just, you know, be as fulfilling in your day as I can. Put as much of a smile on your face as I can. You guys have done so much for me. I don't, it's just, yeah, I don't even know what to do. But look at this. These trees are beautiful. Look the fall foliage. Beautiful. See, if, if I had my snow shovel in the front of my car, I would just pull into her driveway one swoop so she doesn't have to do all that. Man, I I really need to do something like that where I can just have people call me for free and I'll tow them out. The only thing I'll say is I do accept tips though, but you're not gonna be charged anything. I don't want them to feel obligated either, but it is what it is. As long as they get the help they 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 need, I don't really care if they even tip me. I just want to make sure you guys are safe, man. Because that's like so not fun to come up here and then not be safe, especially when you're getting charged for fortune to stay up here during this type of weather. It's like everything like doubles and triples in price. It's just, it's just ridiculous. They try to get everything from you. They try to charge three thousand, four thousand. 5,000, whatever they can get. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, that hearing aid commercial, that old guy, you can tell, he's like acting to like try to act old as well with all the different mannerisms and the way he says things. Like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> so funny. But anyway, guys, I love you. You love me. We're coming into the village and it's a happy family. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Alright. So this is the village folks. We are driving through the village of the big bear. Driving through the village of the big bear. Driving. Go to concerts here guys. The cave. Yeah. Get out. There you go. We're entitled. We'll just stop in the middle of the street. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I don't mean to complain about that. It just is what it is. Stop sign for you, buddy. Look really how beautiful this is, though. I don't like this sleep. Look at the size of these sleep pellets. I'm gonna try to get one in my hand. Or, or, or maybe you can just see them bouncing off the head. They're really large.
Sorry about that. I love this place. Man. It's so gorgeous. All right, so we made it through the village. All right, so this, we gotta go right here. This guy didn't seem to want to go anywhere, so we're just gonna pull through the dark map and go ourselves. If this is a great pizza place, the village pizza, you guys would love it. It's wonderful. A little expensive, but it's so worth it. Okay, now this is when you enter town, basically. Once you got through all the traffic coming in. This is it, look at how much snow they got over here. It's amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. I hope all you guys who are up here are having a great time. I'm so excited for you guys to get out of the the uh, the issue down the hill or the issue everywhere. Power grab is amazing. And this is Santana Mavericks. It's a really good restaurant. I dig it. Awesome. Loyal, really me. It's so pretty. Look at this hotel, there's no one staying there. What the heck? That's unfortunate. I put my mom up there one time. It was it was great because it was in a, a, a lake view, right on the lake. It wasn't too bad, it was like a hundred and something bucks for the night. But yeah guys, this is just amazing. This is beautiful. So you guys got to see how we take the back roads all the way to, to the village. So we don't have to deal with any of this. And you guys saw, it was only one car that we had to really deal with that whole route. So that's cool. Okay. You need to eat here. Cafe Crepe. A good friend of mine owns it. They are wonderful people. He and his wife are so incredibly awesome. And they have a work ethic that you just don't see these days. They aren't sitting there like most other Californians, feeling like they're entitled and just reaching out their hand for taxpayers to take care of them. They work really hard, and I love seeing that. I love seeing the hard work. I know a couple youngsters up here, like 18, 19 years old, who are absolutely like, like have a work ethic that it seemed like the folks back in the 60s did, 50s, 60s, 70s, just. Just beautiful, beautiful workout thing. Sorry about that. Someone called and interrupted the video, so I had to put the video or the phone on. Do not disturb, so that doesn't happen yet. Until we're done. But yeah, guys, so this is the beautiful town of Big Bear. You can see up ahead over by uh, Summit Boulevard, which is the stoplight, and then past it, we're getting some, some more decent snow coming down. You can see it. I just love it guys, I just love it. I love you guys too. No seatbelt. Alright. When 
when you're gonna like hit your brakes and turn when it's ice and snow, like it's, you gotta use your, your first it is. And I'm not trying to be a dick, like, or a jerk. You guys know I'm doing a lot better with that. I really am. And it's, it's because of, of, of you guys who give me the constructive criticism because you care. Not because you're just a loner sitting in mommy and daddy's basement and are such an angry, angry human being who's trying to like find find themselves and leaving nasty comments. Like those people I don't listen to, don't care, and I just pray for them because their lives are just a pathetic, just barely in existence. And so I started to feel sorry for them because someone who's got a decent life isn't gonna leave nasty comments. Um, so yeah, I just have to remember he's just a miserable beep, and that's all I gotta say about that. But yeah, so this is the Brownie Lane. We're back on Brownie Lane. This is the Brownie Lane parking lot that they refer to for snow summer. That's the parking lot. That's one of the satellite parking lots. You gotta love it, man. It's huge. And it's a parking lot that we used to go do donuts in. As a matter of fact, I don't think we're going to get much out of it, but nope. down here at the end though is where we can get some, some decent slidage. Then we're going to head home. When you guys come up here during this this type of stuff, when you see the big parking lots that are completely empty, it would behoove you to actually do what I'm doing in there. Go in there and just try to uh, get loose and then regain control. And just literally after a couple times, I promise you guys will be so amazed at how amazing your, your driving will end up being. You're gonna gain a lot of education doing that. I promise and it's gonna be so nice for you guys. So anyway, I love you guys dearly, and this is it. Peace in the Middle East, guys. November 8th, 2020, 12.06 p.m., 28 degrees. Peace to you guys.